All right, folks, Steve's Garage. I'm gonna show you how to adjust the rear drum brakes on the car. This is a 2008 Chevrolet HHR, and pretty much the same principle worth in the vehicle. I have it jacked up a little bit. I could probably get under here uh, and adjust everything without jacking it up, but obviously we can't spin the wheel. So what we're doing is we're looking at this, and if you can see this right here, I've lost count of how many times that was. It's way too many. This thing is very loose. You know, if you just take it right here from this piece right here and just look. One, two, three, four, five. It's gonna keep going forever, guys. So this, this, these rear brakes essentially are doing nothing. The symptoms of this are basically my pedal is a little bit weak. Now you get your pedal from the rear drums and you get your braking power from the front disc brakes. So we're gonna go in the back and we're gonna adjust them. And then as I'm adjusting with the clicks, my assistant's going to be spinning the tire, and we're going to make sure that it's going to be a little bit uh, less revolutions than it was starting out with. So let's get underneath the car and check and see if we can get this thing a little bit tighter. See you guys? This normally has a piece of rubber on it to cover it up, but naturally this is a 2008, so we lost all of that. It's really tricky to see what the hell you're doing underneath here. You can take off the wheel if you want, people, but these drum brakes are on there pretty good. So I'm not gonna do that. So I gotta try to find, there it is, there's the start part. So we need to go downward. It's very difficult with this car to get that. You have to kind of go up to the top. There we go. There's one click. Two clicks. We'll do one more. We'll do three clicks. Hello, assistant. Now let's try spinning the wheel like we did before. Yeah, pretty much made no difference at all. That tells you how loose it is. Back underneath the car. And you get back here again. And we rinse and repeat, right people? So let's see here. One, two, three. So now we've done a total of six clips, people. So let's see what it looks like this time around. I am noticing a little bit more resistance when I'm doing this, but not a whole heck of a lot. So we got a little ways to go. I did six, I'm gonna go ahead and do another four for a total of 10 clicks. So here we go. One, two, three. Now let's try it here. Okay, I can definitely sense a difference after those three. So now we come back over here. Oh yeah, huge difference people. Might even be too tight at this point. So we're gonna use this as our marker or possibly this one so just a little more than one turn right people yeah it's actually it might be a little too tight so what you can do with you can spin it backwards and that sometimes helps the adjuster helps redo the brake shoes and also if you pull on this cable a little bit back here if you can't see it and that kind of helps with that as well so go backwards a few times Technically, people, you can back your car up, and that should help, but who the heck backs your car up very much, right? So now we're gonna go forward again. Let's see. It's a little over one turn, all right? Try it again, see what happens. It's a little over one turn. I'm actually gonna leave it like this, people. I think that's actually pretty good. I'm not having to force it too hard. I'm just basically giving it a gentle push. It's a little over one turn. You kind of want to have it less than two turns. If you go ahead and you get it, more than two turns people um, you're probably a little too loose if you get it less than two turns 
Oh, we might get a little dragging a little bit, but I'm not really putting a lot of force into this here. So line it up one more time. Yeah, one and a quarter. That seems about right. So basically it took us nine clicks to get this side done. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna start the car up and then we're going to back it up and down the driveway a couple of times and it should be good and see if we see a difference in the pedal.